seem to be in a red light district because there are massage parlors and private shows and wildcat women not so much vegan restaurants as we thought private strip teas Fun fact, I started talking English to the proprietor of the, and he talked English to me and then he asked, are you from Britain? And no, we're from Sweden. And I said, well, you can talk Swedish to me then. He said, in Swedish. Now we're going to go to Vasagatan because this was more a cafe. You got a sandwich, but there was, I, just, I, I got an apple pie. That was all the vegan thing they had. So you got the, the dessert? I got the dessert. Yeah. But was it good? It was really good. Yeah. Sort nice. of. And, and I got a, like a, what's it called, giffel? Yeah, paste, no, not pastry. Sort of like uh, the French, uh, yeah, what's it called? Pastry, puff pastry. If it doesn't have like a French name. Uh, Vinebre. Oh, whatever, but, but it was really nice because there was like uh, brie and, uh, and uh, stuff in it. Good, well, we've been looking for this street, Vasagatan, Vasa Ngato. And we've been walking up this street, which is called Flemingatan, and we didn't we crossed that and keep kept going and looking for the street because we didn't really reel out. Well, doesn't matter. We are here. Oh my God! We seem to be in a red light district because there are massage parlors and private shows and wildcat women. Not so much vegan restaurants as we thought. Private strip teas. So, we don't have this in Stockholm. This is all very exotic. I think I want a woman to undress for me. Massage. Now we found a vegan, a vegan fast food joint where we're gonna get eat more burgers. So this is a great vegan restaurant. Everything's vegan, it's called Bun to Bun. People, we had our vegan burgers and now we're going into the city centre again and we thought about going towards the boat because we are quite knackered uh, and our feet, we're feeling the feet. On our way to the boat we're going to check out this Chrysler building lookalikey, churchy thingy. So we are now inside Kirke, and it's not as impressive inside as it is outside. This is sort of like, well, just a regular church. A great looking regular church, but quite modern. But from the outside, it looks spectacular. Okay, people, the best part from inside the church is this. Isn't this great? Hand painted. Look at that, we just, it looks so much higher than it actually is. Talk, speaking about high. Why? We've seen the oldest stone building and now we're on our way to the oldest wooden building in Helsingfors. See? People, I'm just going to turn a corner and there will be the oldest wooden house in Helsinki. What? So here we are and I guess it's that one. The yellow one. How very impressive. Here I am in front of the oldest wooden building in Helsinki. It's now sort of, I can hear children crying from within, so it might be haunted or there might be a crib, not sure. So people, we are now on our way back to the boat. We are quite pooped and uh, <laughs> tired. It is it, not poop in that sense, but we will be pooping, but uh, we sort of had enough of Helsinki. It's been really nice. <laughs> and here's Magnus saying bye. So people, here we go. Look at that lovely Russian church. So people, we are on our way. Martin, uh, Magnus started using Instagram. He's been using it for years. Now he thinks it's kind of fun. 
So here we go, people. Back to the boat. Here we go, people. God, these fees aren't made for walking anymore. No more. So people, this is the harbour. Oh, that's it. That's something. Oh, and it starts raining, so it's good. Time to leave. It's, it's completely uh, due to the, the, the weather, weather forecast. It yeah. said it started to rain at 4 or 5 o'clock. And it did. And it did. Good. And, and that's the boat over there. Do you see the flags? Oh, oh God. Look at that wind. So people, here we go. On board. We got our we got our bed oh far here's our room so people here we are in our cabin and Magnus is reading up reading out aloud about the church we visited Calio Church is a Lutheran church in the Calio district of Helsinki people from our window we can see the entrance and I think they're going to take it away soon. People, it's time for for a little pre-buffet pre, pre <laughs> buffet Bacardi Mojito. I'm ready. Up yours, people. Oh, that's quite good. Yes, I'm gulping. Oh. Oh. Mm. I don't know. Sensational trip. We don't know what he's saying. I think it's really important. You should really pay attention. We are leaving Helsinki, but we are recording that we are leaving Helsinki. This is the landmark, no, the land gong, the land embarkment. People, I just googled, that's called gangway. Gangway! They should really do something about the windows. So say goodbye to the ferries, that apparently now that it's working, now it's turning around. When we were there, it wasn't working, the ferris wheel. Oh. Oh, it's blue. It's a blue ferris wheel, people. This, yeah, we, we have to turn. Yes. Now we're, we're, yes. we're going into the city. People, it's time to go to the buffet. I am feeling so sleepy. But some glasses of wine might pike perk me up. And then I had to go to the tax free and buy some croissants. So today the buffet seems a little bit more popular than it was yesterday. So over there is the kids' buffet. Over here is dessert. That was really good yesterday. Lots of vegan food. That's hot, hot, hot. And over there is sort of fish and um, clams. This is Swedish people at a buffet. Grim, grim experience. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.